One day, Frank was out on his front porch, just tending his flowers and minding his own business. Beatrice had just moved in across the street. And Frank really liked Beatrice. She was a good neighbor. And she even decided to get some chickens. So one day, Frank was kind of surprised when he saw one of Beatrice's chickens on the loose. So Frank decided to approach the chicken and see if he could help him return to the coop. Oh no, that chicken is not happy. He doesn't want to go back to the coop. Oh no, Frank, what's happening? The chicken didn't want to go back to the coop and so he's attacking Frank. Oh no. Frank didn't make it from the chicken fight. So now what are we going to do? I thought Frank might die of old age, but it turns out that he got killed by a chicken. Beatrice didn't even notice because she was too busy tending her stall and she didn't see what happened. So now we're going to have to try and raise Frank from the dead. So yeah, that was a complete reenactment actually from something that happened in neighborhood stories. Frank Stim in the Stim household has died. Frank was a victim to a vicious chicken attack. I did not realize that that could happen in neighborhood stories. I do have neighborhood stories on, but yeah, so welcome back to Tiny Town. And this is Beatrice Jam's new house. We did go and build the outside. So she has a basic frame going here. And she has an upstairs, which has almost no wallpaper right now. And then her downstairs has a little bit of wallpaper. And we have this nice kitchen tile. I love this kitchen. I mean, it has no appliances yet, but it's going to be really cute. And we have this decorative light that was really expensive that I had to buy anyway. And yeah, we did get some chickens. Last time I promised that she would have some chickens and some goats, and she does. So the reason why I've put them in this little shed over here and not allowed them to come out is because I think that that will prevent the bug from happening with for rent where you can't interact with anything on the lot due to the chickens on the lot. So it also prevents them from getting separated from their coop. And well, it says coop capacity zero. Let me fix that. Okay, so now they're assigned to the coop. And every time I move Beatrice out, I'm going to have to reassign the chickens or pick up the chickens. And no, hey, come back here. You are not allowed out here. I locked that door. You go back in there. Okay, I don't want them coming out on this little platform. Okay, so we're only allowing the household to come in here. No one else is allowed in here. Chickens are not allowed to come out. Okay, so since Frank Stem did die, we are going to try and resurrect him because we actually have to do that for part of our aspiration. So I'm going to allow it. The only thing is we need to sell a poor quality item for a hundred simoleons. Now I can't cook poor quality items because Beatrice is just too good. However, I can sometimes get them from the dumpster don't talk to people, Beatrice. Just keep dumpster diving. If you dive for meals, you can sometimes get a poor quality item. And maybe, maybe I will be able to sell that for 100 simoleons. It has to be expensive enough, though. That might be difficult. Okay, this omelet is expensive. Wow. It says $142. Let's try that one. Okay, when you're dumpster diving, it is important to put the item in your household inventory first because that makes sure that you own the item. See, what happens is when you're dumpster diving, you don't actually own it because you found it in a dumpster, I guess. And putting it in your household inventory and taking it back out makes it yours. Oh, 136 simoleons with a markup of 300%. Okay, so the entire platter would be worth 148, but a single serving is worth 136 when it's marked up to 300%. Okay, that should work. 
Um, let me just take all this stuff out though, because I don't want to sell anything else. I only want to sell this. Okay, someone come buy it. Hey, Jacqueline, you buy it. I don't think it matters if I convince him or if he actually buys it on his own. But someone please buy it so I can get to work on raising Frankstem. Okay, that worked. So now I just need to make ambrosia and sell one meal for 300 simoleons. Okay, what do I have that can cost 300? Faux meat and mash is only 280. Even my pleasantly unpleasant waffles are not 300 simoleons. I'm going to have to make something that's more expensive than that. Okay, now she's feeling very unsatisfied in our relationship. Yeah, I haven't really been paying attention to my relationship right now. So Marissa is feeling a little bit neglected. Maybe we should do something with her. It is 1 a.m. on Monday, though. We might have to wait until morning time. Okay, so we'll flirt a little bit with Marissa because we... Oh, our friendship... Oh, no, that's not our friendship. That is Jacquin. For some reason, he's stuck in my conversation, even though he's not even on the lot. We haven't even had a first kiss. I didn't realize that. Okay, now she wants to immediately become romantic partners. Sure, Marissa. Okay, I'm here in Chestnut Ridge, and Roberto Crinkletop has announced that he's buying nectar but i have to hurry up and introduce myself before he leaves and it's snowing okay and then we ask him about the family nectar recipe after making friends with him on social bunny because i don't have time for this okay we got the death flower now we have to check the magic realm and the stall in henford on bagley because we want to have more than one and they take forever to grow. Oh, they have death flowers here too. And I was able to haggle. They don't have the fish though. So I will get a few of the death flowers just because I want to make more than one ambrosia. And I'm going to plant one of the death flowers. Oh, I know why it's warm everywhere I go. I was like, why is it warm everywhere I go in its winter? And Chestnut Ridge was actually snowing in a blizzard when I arrived. It's because she's wearing her jewelry. Okay, I understand now. Okay, one night of gourmet cooking has seen us get to level eight gourmet cooking. So now it's time to take care of the animals and wake them all up. Some of this stuff sells for a decent amount like the salmon nigiri and tuna nigiri, but the tiered cake is only 72 simoleons and the butternut squash soup is 60 simoleons. So some of this isn't really worth making, even though it's gourmet food. What's sold for 1,000 simoleons? Did someone buy an entire plate? Nothing I have here is that expensive. Someone must have bought all of it. And I guess that counted is selling one meal for 300 simoleons, even though it's not a meal, it's actually a whole thing. Oh yes, I gotta pay my bills, I forgot about that. Okay, now all we do is learn how to cook ambrosia. So our gourmet cooking is level eight and we need level 10. Okay, it was three times lobster tortellini that was supposed to be 1620, but I think they bought the platter because one of them is not worth that much. And of course, the Magic Realm still does not have any angelfish. Well, this is gonna be difficult. Okay, we are both level 10 gourmet cooking and level 10 regular cooking. So we should be able to make ambrosia now if we had the ingredients. Yes, we need a angelfish, a potion of youth, right? I forgot about that one. And a death flower. 
Okay, here we are in Oasis Springs, and it's the spot, as soon as you zone in, it's all the way to the right. This definitely has angelfish, and the way that you can tell is if you watch for a little while, they will jump out of the water. And if you don't see any angelfish jumping out of the water, then it's impossible to catch them there. And we just acquired the fishing skill, which means it's going to be a little while before we actually catch some, but that's fine. Okay, finally we got an angelfish. Now we can stop. So the reason why I'm not going to fish here for more angelfish is because I can go home and put them in my pond. Okay, I was able to buy one potion of youth. Michael, can you get out of the way, please? I am trying to cook. I don't know why Sims can't both get to the refrigerator at the same time. And if somebody's standing there, it blocks you from getting in the refrigerator, but yet they can walk through each other at all other times. It's just annoying. And of course, I don't get multiples of this one, but wow, 6,000 simoleons. All right, now we just need to sell it to Frank Stem, and I need him to buy it and no one else which is going to be tough. Okay, how can I get him to visit with me? No, no, don't discuss expanding the family. Let's just talk to him. I don't think you can add him to a group. Oh, you can. Okay, so if I go home now, it should hopefully take him with me. Or maybe I can just have this at his house. Yeah, let's just have this at his house. That'll make a lot more sense. Now, hopefully I can convince him to buy something, even though he's not technically a person who's visiting the bake sale. And we also have to get the ambrosia on the table. So I'm going to have to pull off other things so that it has enough room. Okay, did I get the ambrosia? And I hope he's not buying something else. Okay, ambrosia is there. Let's try to convince Frank to buy it. Please tell me you're buying the ambrosia if you do buy something. Okay, no, he didn't buy anything. Let's see if we can convince him to buy it. He bought it. Now eat it. <laughs> eat it. <laughs> I want you to resurrect yourself. Hopefully this does not glitch. No, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. I don't want you to stop him from eating that. Okay, you can talk to someone else. Come on, Frank, finish it, please. Please tell me someone is not talking to you. Oh, so he's going to go... Mess with the toddlers. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Come on. I'm sorry, toddler. Can you go bother someone else right now? Come on. Frank, finish your ambrosia. Then you can be alive for your kids. I'm sure Randall would like for you to be alive again. And then he's going to stop and talk to the horse. Oh, this is terrible. Come on, horse. Bother someone else. Let him finish the ambrosia. <laughs> Hurry up. It's funny because there's this little chicken head floating around inside him. Oh, and okay, he's resurrected. So at least I got the check off. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to just cheat to resurrect him. Oh, I didn't have to. So Frank is now alive again due to um, Beatrice's chicken killing him. <laughs> yeah, so we completed that aspiration and we have 27,000 simoleons. All right, so let's clear off some of the stuff that's spoiled. Berry waffles is no, are no good anyway. Aw, my bangers and mash spoiled. If anything is low price, I'm going to take it off of the table. Ooh, the meatless Monte Cristo is 228 simoleons a piece. Yeah, that is no good. Okay, the next thing I think we're going to make are those pizzas. Oh, maybe we'll leave some cookies out for the toddlers. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Beatrice, no, you're not watching TV. Tend the table. So the toddlers should be able to get stuff to eat because there's sugar cookies over here and they're cheap. So you guys can have the sugar cookies. And maybe Beatrice will introduce herself to the toddler. I have auto stock on. Why aren't you stocking the table, Beatrice? There's not that much there. 
All right, what do I need to make pizza? I need dough, which needs flour. And I think this won't have anything in it. Oh, it does. Uh, our strong friendship got me thinking about how we should live together. Can I move in with you? Um, yes, it can only strengthen our friendship, but then I'm not going to let him move in. Frank, you have your own family and you're not taking them all with you. And then you just hit cancel. <laughs> That's what you do if you don't want to damage your relationship, but you also don't want them to move in with you. Because it's just stupid that your relationship gets damaged when it should be kind of like a boundaries thing. I mean, a lot of people don't want other people living with them, no matter how good friends they are. <laughs> Sometimes the living situation is just not compatible. I'm just going to disable the auto. Okay, there we go. She finally stalked. I was about to say, I was going to disable the auto stock, but it seems like she wasn't stalking anything. Okay, the butternut gnocchi is spoiled. That's going off. Chips and salsa is too cheap. You can sit there for the toddlers. Oh, plain waffles. Yeah, you are going off the table. Even the Caesar salad is really not that great. Oh, that's right. I can mark up the prices to 500%. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Maybe I can make enough money this episode to buy the restaurant. Okay, I've noticed when you travel that all of your jewelry is drained. All you have to do is remove it and then put it back on. I don't know why it does that. It's not drained. Yeah, and now it has charge remaining eight hours. I don't get that. All right, so let's take care of the animals and then we'll get started on making some alien pizza. I don't think my mod is working, but I do have a mod that's supposed to allow the goats and sheep to breed. I don't know if they have to be the same color or what, but these don't seem to be breeding. I don't know how often it happens also. <laughs> now, 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 now. Um... Someone asked out Opal. I think this is because her husband died. Maybe I didn't get them remarried because when they die and come back to life, they're not married, which has also happened to Frank now. Okay, I don't think this is a good idea and I'm going to go remarry you when I have a chance. I wonder, can you put more counters out here and actually use more of the appliances if they're within reach? Because this only allows you to put two appliances there. So then if we get a counter, let's see, because I want my waffle maker there too. And maybe I can use it. I don't know. We'll try. It's a really cute setup though. I can put one over here and we can get two mixers. Okay, maybe we'll have a neighborhood potluck because it's Winterfest and we should have a grand meal. So I need to make some sweet batter so I can make a breakfast scramble. Oh, why did you break? Oh, look who it is. Father Winter. Hi, Clement Frost. <laughs> I think he was the wealthy weirdo. Yeah, we already know him. Well, that was easy enough to get gold. Oh, someone made silly gummy bear pancakes? That'll make you laugh. And if you have a lot of extra buffs, then you might get hysterical. So those could be deadly. Oh, we got a nice stove. I'm not sure if that stove will fit in our particular... Oh, no. This was locked except for household guests. I need you guys to leave. No, don't take my egg. I know my egg is spoiled. Don't take it. Come out of there. And how exciting. We, we get to hatch our first egg. So she shoes away the hen. And then the little chick comes out. If an egg is spoiled, it will actually hatch. You just have to avoid throwing it away until the chick comes out. Okay, if you want more angelfish, just buy one of these ponds and stock the pond with just the angelfish and then go fishing. So hopefully I can get two more angelfish because I do have two more potions of youth and I have lots of death flowers. My limiting ingredient on this is going to be the potions of youth. 
and we already got one angelfish. And there's two. Yeah, that's easy. Oh, look, there's Tom. That's the dog we wanted to adopt. Hopefully Tom will stick around for a little while and we can try to make him our friend. Aw, what's wrong, Tom? Are you having a bad day? Here's a doggy treat for you. Tom, I already gave you two treats. Are you still hungry? Oh, I can adopt him. Tom is fine for a dog's name. I really don't have any other names right now. And now Tom is ours. Okay, now that we have a dog, we need to get a pet bed and some pet stuff. I'm not sure if this area is big enough for the goats to breed. I guess they're not going to breed. That mod probably doesn't work. Oh, but I have a little chicky, a rooster chick. Okay, well, once the rooster chick grows up, then we will be saying goodbye to Snuggles. So now we have Nugget the rooster. And we only have one hen. So we need to get more hens. Okay, we'll start a food sale. And if anything is super cheap, I might disallow it from being sold. The butternut squash soup is not too great. All right, let's also make some pizza. Oh, you can use it. So if you place your counters right next to your other counters that are attached to the stall, you can use them as well. So you can have a full kitchen out here and be able to cook while you're doing the food stall stuff. I wonder if you can put something back here and actually have a refrigerator and a stove. And that would be awesome. Okay, someone buy those ambrosias. There's no ghosts, though. So I kind of feel like it's a waste if someone else buys the ambrosia. But it is 33,000 and 38,000 smoleons at 500% markup. That's ridiculous. Beatrice is going to be the most rich so far. I thought Frank Stem had it easy, but no, she has it easy. The only thing is we are limited in how much ambrosia we can make because we have to get potions of life and that is a limited supply item. Okay, so whose age should we reset? Should we try to reset one of the tiny town's ages? I know we don't have to reset Frank Stem because Frank Stem died and was reborn. So maybe we should try to reset Cypress's age. Oh, he's going away. Okay. Well, it would be interesting to see if it does indeed reset their age. What about Letitia? Some of this stuff has spoiled. I'm not going to sell spoiled things. Unless it's ambrosia. And she bought it. The only thing is I can't use Convince to buy very often. And I think the ambrosia probably won't sell very well because it's so super expensive. And they also want you to wait for a ghost to buy it because of your aspiration. So it probably won't sell very often either. Oh, we should probably collect the waffles and the pizza. All right, we have 122,000 simoleons from selling both of those ambrosias. That's just ridiculous. I wonder if you can even add like a sink out here so that I could wash the dishes. That might be nice. Okay, question. Will this actually work? I'm not sure if it will. We can collect the waffles. We can collect the pizza. I can't remember. What was it that sold for a lot of money? Well, Faux Meat Wellington sells for a lot. Hala. That's what it is. And I know I'm not saying that right, but I cannot do the in the back of my throat and still say it. <laughs> I'm not coordinated enough. That doesn't look like it is, though. How do you spell it? <laughs> I don't know how to spell Hala. It, it definitely doesn't start with an H. Okay, I had to look it up. It starts with a C. <laughs> I would have never guessed that. There it is. We need dough and eggs. Oh, I'm not getting very many eggs. So maybe desserts. We should try desserts. Oh, right. Baked Alaska. But we do need sweet batter for that, which needs milk and flour. I think the Monte Cristo sandwiches also sell for a pretty decent amount. Yeah, 324. That's not bad. Oh, the pizza is 588 
a slice. Oh, she walks away. Don't go over there. I wanted you to bake it at the stall oven. Oh, so sad. This is the bad part about having multiple ovens on the lot. All right. Well, in theory, it should work. What if I lock the door for myself? There. Now she can't get in there. Can I now produce something while I'm over here at the stall? Okay, yeah, that forces her to stay out here because I locked the door on her. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, if you got to do it, you got to do it because this oven is closer. I don't care if that oven is better quality. I want you to use the one out here. So yes, you can fully cook everything. I wonder if you can run the stall and still be a chef at a restaurant. I got to try that. I have to try it. So that expands your options because you can do anything as long as you're close enough to the stall. You can still tend the stall and cook at the same time. I'm pretty sure that this one over here, the regular stalls, don't let you do that because I've tried to multitask while I'm tending a stall and some of them will work, but a lot of the interactions will not work if you're tending the stall. It makes you drop tend the table. Well, we're just going to run a food stall all day today. And well, we kind of need to do something with our girlfriend, but I'm not sure what. I mean, she's our girlfriend. Maybe we should get married. I was going to have a polyamorous relationship with Beatrice and someone else. But in order to do that, you have to get both of the other people to be okay with relationships like that. And it might be difficult to convince them. Okay, she said she didn't want anything. So therefore, I'm going to convince her to buy the pizza, which is the most expensive thing on the table. You can do that once you have the aspiration completed. Your convince always works. So if someone looks like they're not going to buy anything, make them buy the most expensive thing at the table. But you can only do that once in a while. You can't do it very often. Oh, no, Tom is sick. I'm going to need to get some pet treats. Okay, let's see if I can give you a vet treat without leaving the stall. I don't think I can, but I can try. Come back here. Come back here. I didn't tell you to go over there. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. I guess I have to stop tending the table to give them a pet treat. Cooking, however, works. So that's something at least. I didn't think there would be enough room to brush them over there. But if you don't have a bathtub and you have cats or you have dogs, you can brush them and get them clean. It sometimes takes more than one brush and it definitely does take a long time because giving them a bath would take a long time too. But with cats, you can't even give them a bath. So this is your only option to clean them if they get sprayed by, if they get sprayed by a skunk. Now you do have to have high enough friendship. So you need to be at least friends with your pet. I don't think it requires good friends. No, we're just a friend with Tom. We're not good friends yet. So as long as you're friends, then you can brush away your pet's dirtiness. Okay, one brush was not enough. I probably need to do it again. But if you look at my selectable pets, see his hygiene is almost full. He's no longer uncomfortable because of hygiene. Now we just need some fun. We need to get some doggy toys for him. Okay, the only pink one is from my first pet stuff and is a cat. Well, that's not going to work. Oh, there's this one. It's not really the vibe though, but it is pink. I think the wooden one would probably look better. And then you can tell him to go get a toy and hopefully he'll increase his fun by playing with a toy. Yes, chewing on the toy increases his fun. Now, eventually, that will ruin the ball, but it's fine. 
that's a way for them to get their fun up if they don't have another animal to play with and you're busy doing something else. At least they'll be happy for a little while. I do plan on spending some time with the dog. It's just that right now I'm trying to get enough to get our restaurant and that's going to take selling all day long. Although it is night on the town, but maybe we'll go out during dinner time and invite our girlfriend. Oh, Baked Alaska is a thousand simoleons. It's even better than the pizza. Oh, we've kind of been neglecting the garden. Hopefully someone will come and tend it. Oh, they're sitting at the inside tables again. I really prefer it when they sit out here, but they sometimes just don't. There you go. Once you get his hygiene up to full, then his dirtiness will disappear. Okay, let's try a romantic repair date. Oh, you have to have a negative romantic relationship? I thought it was just to repair your satisfaction, but I guess not. Okay, we'll just have a regular romantic date then. And this will also satisfy our night on the town objective for the holiday. Okay, let's at least sit at the same table. Don't sit at the bar. Why is everyone else in our conversation? They were supposed to fix that. They won't stay out of my conversation. Oh, I don't know why. I said goodbye, and now there's no longer the option to say goodbye anymore. Okay, finally it's just us in the conversation. Oh, why are you saying hi to other people? Okay, I guess she was saying bye. That's fine, but please don't say... Why can't you stay sitting at the same table? Ugh, they keep going all over the place to sit. Make up your mind. Sit in one spot. I don't know why they have to get up every time they talk. I think maybe if they were talking to another person, they might get up. But it seems like... They're in a conversation and not in a conversation and in a conversation. So, yeah, that interaction is a little bit buggy. Okay, now they're both very satisfied in their relationship, which is good because before she was completely unsatisfied and Beatrice was fine. It's still an awkward encounter, though. I don't understand why. Oh, Beatrice is going to be a love bug. Okay, that's sure. That's great. The only thing is, what about your relationship boundaries? Okay, everything triggers jealousy, which is basically how it goes. So let's see if we can convince her otherwise. First, we'll start with the non-physical romance. Because that would be annoying if you're just flirting. Okay, so she will not feel jealous from non-physical romance. And this is going to be actually kind of difficult if she just accepts everything. I don't really like that. Oh, I can't consider it right now. Okay, so now I can flirt with other people, but I still can't kiss them or woohoo with them. So we're going to have to make this a gradual progression, I guess. Oh, no. Agnes. No. No. Why is Agnes here? This is a public place, Agnes. She's coming to scold me for being romantic on a date. I don't know where she is, but she's coming. Where are you? Well, I don't see her. So I guess she lost interest. That's funny. Did you finish drinking your nectar? I don't think you did. Okay, we'll go ahead and end the date cheerfully now because I need to go back to selling. Or maybe propose early. <laughs> so if you're a love bug, it becomes propose early. Okay, we're going to go ahead and end the date. And we have gold. So hopefully Marissa will be more likely to be satisfied in our relationship. So I think we have enough to probably buy a really, really nice restaurant. And next time, we'll try running the restaurant and doing the food sale. Although that might not work if we're doing player as chef. We might have to hire people because I forgot 
that even though we can cook and do things while we're close enough to the food stall, we will not be able to play as chef because it requires starting an event up here. So this food sale event and the chef event will conflict with each other. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.